All right, everybody, we're working through the quadratic functions and equations review, and we are looking at uh, question 20b. So these are word problems here. The perimeter of a rectangle is 34 centimeters. Given that the diagonal is 13 centimeters, find the dimensions of the rectangle. Now, I want you to notice that in this problem right here, I'm not asking you to maximize or minimize anything. Okay, this is a word problem, but it's not a maximum or minimum word problem, which means we're not going to be completing the square. So what we want to do here is really just have a look, what are they describing here? So the perimeter of a rectangle is 34. Okay, well rectangle, that's X, maybe that's Y. And it says that the diagonal is 13. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. Okay, well this is 13 here. Well, what that means is a couple of bits of information here. First of all, I know that 2x's plus 2y's must equal 34. I'm not particularly fond of that. Uh, that's, that could be simpler. So I'm going to divide everything through by 2 and, oh, well, I like that better. I like that better because the coefficients are, are both 1 here. So I divided the whole equation through by 2. So that's, that's one equation right there that's of use to me. The other one here will be the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, relating the two sides of the rectangle to the diagonal. So x squared plus y squared will equal 13 squared. Okay, now what we want to do with this is essentially a substitution here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bit of information and I'm going to plug it into this one right here. So we're going to maybe isolate the, the y here from the, that second equation right there. So y equals x, uh, sorry, negative x plus 17. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to plug that into my x squared plus y squared equals well, essentially 169. Okay, so this is 13 squared is 169. So this will become x squared plus negative x plus 17 squared equals 169. What really what I'm doing here is I'm solving in essence a, a system of equations. Okay, um, but I'm going into the quadratic, okay, uh, because I actually have a tool. I mean, whether I, if, regardless of what I isolated here, even if I isolated the x or the y here and substituted it back into this one, eventually I would end up creating a quadratic one way or the other because of those squares in there. So I'm just going to substitute into the quadratic because it's a little bit easier to work with. So this will become x squared plus x squared minus. Now you got to be really careful with this, okay? Don't forget to distribute this out, okay? Or, or foil this out, if you will. This becomes minus 34x. That's that, that middle term where you multiply negative x by 17 and then 17 by negative x. Okay, then 17 squared is 289 equals 169. And when you bring that over, okay, what we'll do here is make this 2x squared minus 34x plus 120 equals zero. Okay, now notice that this is all in terms of just one variable, okay? This isn't a completing the square sort of problem. I'm not asking you to maximize or minimize anything. Basically just want you to solve the equation here. Now I might be able to divide through by a, by a two here to make this equation a little bit easier to work with. So x squared minus 17x plus 60 is equal to zero. Okay, now I should be able to factor this. Now if I can't factor this, then what I would need to do is use the quadratic formula. Okay, um, but when I think about factors of 60 that add to 17, now 60 there, uh, I know that si immediately my head goes to 12 and 5 there and it turns out 12 and 5 do go together to get negative 16. That's really just from experience. Um, again, you could use the quadratic formula, but this is going to end up being, let me just take a look at this, negative 5, negative 12. So x is either equal to 5 or positive 12. Oh, and you know what? Turns out that works uh, both ways here. Uh, so in other words, if you, now you've got to compare it to the original here. Um, if x is 5, then y is 12. If x is 12, then y is uh, 5 doesn't really matter, but it, based on the diagram that I gave here, it looks to me like what we've got here, therefore, is that x is our, our shorter one, x is the width, and y is the length. So there are the dimensions, excuse me, of the rectangle. 